If you think about it, BMW Motorrad is probably the only European legacy motorcycle manufacturer that is serious about electrifying its lineup, at least partially. The newest model to join their EV offerings is the city compact bike called BMW CE02. Being aimed at younger riders, the bike features a modern, trend-setting design with blacked-out cast-alloy wheels, gray metallic motor cover, and a front suspension fork that is anodized in gold. The bike has the seat height of 29.5 inches, weighs 291 pounds, and is propelled by an air-cooled powertrain with 6 kilowatts of output. This powertrain can put out 11 kilowatts and 40.57 pound-feet in its peak, letting you reach speeds up to 59 miles per hour. The motor is being juiced by a two-piece set of 48-volt batteries. With 3.92 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, you can cover up to 55 miles between charges. When low on charge, the batteries could be replenished through a standard 0.9 kilowatt or optional 1.5 kilowatt charger. The standard option would revive 80% of charge in less than three hours. The model is suspended by hydraulically dampened telescopic forks in the front and a directly pivoted shock absorber that is attached to the single-sided swing arm in the rear. The technological package includes a 3.5-inch TFT information display, a USB-C charger for your gadgets, and a Bluetooth-connected smart app that lets you access performance statistics and safety measures. Falo FW06 is one of the most exciting electric scooters on today's EV market. This model is positioned as a cross between a sports scooter and a motorbike. It gets a two-speed automatic transmission, which definitely adds to the riding fun and improves control over the power delivery. With 5 kilowatts of nominal and 10 kilowatts of peak power, this scooter can clock a top speed of 68 miles per hour, while the maximum range is claimed to reach 87 miles. The 97-volt, 58-amp-hour battery pack is hidden under the body panels and is integrated into the frame. This allows the FW06 to have a narrow and sporty profile and lowers its center of gravity. For the upcoming model year, the Felo company is bringing a special racing version of the FW06 scooter to Japan. Besides the updated FW06R name, this two-wheeler is rocking a new paint job with bright decals, gets a weight reduction to 253 pounds, a slightly improved motor torque parameter of 42 pound-feet, a 0 to 31 mile per hour acceleration of 3 seconds, and a top speed of 75 miles per hour. NKD Minibike by the Australian Fons Moto is the country's first production electric motorcycle. It was introduced to the public almost three years ago. Over the course of its existence, the two-wheeler was gradually upgraded and improved. As of today, this dual-sport model gets three modifications, S, Plus, and X, all come powered with a mid-mounted brushless motor with a belt drive. It can deliver from 8.6 to 11 kilowatts of output. The entry-level S offers 62 mile per hour speeds and 60 miles of range, while the highest spec X model is 8 miles per hour faster with endurance reaching 125 miles on a charge. The battery charge could be restored either via a standard 4 amp charger or an L2 charger at public stations. Powertrain differences aside, all models are equipped with an adjustable hydraulic telescopic fork, an adjustable mono sport shock absorber, a hydraulic sport brake system with regenerative braking technology, and LED lamps. The manufacturer also offers a wide variety of options and available customizations, including three frame colors and body finishes, dual sport or Pirelli street tires, mirrors, storage pouches, as well as pillion passenger option. After several years since the original unveiling of Volcan's Fat Tire Dirt Bike, this Texas-based electric power sports company decided to introduce some technical and design tweaks to the Grunt model. The refined version received the Grunt EVO nameplate and is said to be smoother and quieter in operation, as well as lighter compared to its predecessor. The list of most significant upgrades includes 
a slimmer frame construction with a reimagined swing arm design, an introduction of a Gates carbon belt drive system instead of the chain drive, the front 43mm inverted fork that now comes in tandem with a Walker Evans racing rear shock, and finally a restyled seat, new foot peg ergonomics, and frame-mounted electrical components give the bike a cleaner look. In terms of powertrain components, you get an 8kW electric motor with 4 performance levels and a battery pack with 2.3kWh of capacity. The performance levels as well as the estimated battery charge and other metrics could be tracked with the help of a bright color display. Grunt EVO could be outfitted with an additional battery pack, thus giving you up to 70 miles of range autonomy at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. Short riders, beginners, or just fans of pit bikes should also check out Volcon's Runt LT. This miniature version of the full-size Volcon Grunt has the seat height of 28 inches and swaps the belt-driven motor for a rear hub unit. The 2kW electric motor operates in one of three available power modes. The lowest mode limits the power to 15 mph, while the highest one unlocks the 35 mph top speed capabilities. Despite a significant downgrade in the power department, Rund LT has everything to efficiently tackle off-road terrains, namely an inverted fork, pivotless adjustable rear shock, hydraulic brakes, and bright LED headlights to illuminate the path in front of you. Volcon Runt LT's battery pack offers 1 kilowatt hour of capacity, which is enough to cover distances up to 25 miles. Once your battery runs flat, you'd need to keep the bike plugged in for about 5 hours. Nowadays, many manufacturers are using unconventional designs and bright color schemes to highlight the sporty nature of their products. And we have to admit that not only does the South Korean WePad company support this trend, they're taking this trend even further. Over the past years, this manufacturer managed to bring almost a dozen of flashy electric stand-up scooters capable of reaching speeds beyond 50 miles per hour. Such speed parameters are both terrifying and fun, so they could only be enjoyed by professional riders. This fact could have prompted WePad to develop a relatively safer model with a proper seat. Described as a fusion between a scooter and a mini motorcycle, the new Sonic Expander is powered by an 8-kilowatt hub motor. When hooked up to a 100.8-volt, 100-amp-hour battery pack, this two-wheeler is granted with 100-mile-per-hour speed capabilities. In order to safely endure such speeds, this WePad model received 20-inch tubeless tires, dual Brembo disc brakes, as well as an e-brake system. As for the suspension, there is a single oil shock absorber in the front and a dual shock setup in the rear. Zeho is a young EV brand that has been established under the corporate umbrella of CF Moto. This year, Zeho's current lineup, consisting of several performance e-scooters, will be joined by a tiny e-bike called Zeho City. The City bike will be offered in two modifications, City Play and City Fun. The former is riding on 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels with all-terrain tires, while the latter has 17-inch wire-spoke wheels and tires optimized for better performance on the City tarmac. With the weight of just 155 pounds, we didn't expect these bikes to set any performance records. However, with 1.8 kilowatts of peak output and 32 mile per hour speed capabilities, Zeho City may become a good alternative for going from point A to point B within the urban zones. The bike's aluminum frame is housing a 48 volt, 28 amp hour lithium ion battery that can last up to 44 miles on a charge. Scarponi Motorcycles is a young EV startup from Italy that is developing a compact electric motorbike. It gives away serious Honda Grom vibes, both in terms of size and design. Just like the new Grom that has different styling packages, the Scarponi bike is offered in three design trims, SP Relativity, SC Density, and CR Gravity. Engineers at Scarponi Motorcycles claim to have developed a unique virtual switch system, or VSS, 
The use of VSS could enable their bike to have a system similar to a traditional gearbox that most EVs do not have. According to the manufacturer, the benefits of having a mechanical gearbox are associated with better energy management and braking capabilities. The bike's powertrain will also feature an energy regeneration system. Regardless of chosen design trims, the motorbike will be powered by a 5-kilowatt DC brushless electric motor, capable of generating up to 132 pound-feet of torque. The detailed battery specifications of this two-wheeler are yet to be revealed, but its promised range estimations are set at 60 miles, while the maximum speed will be around 65 miles per hour. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time!